That is going to be a tight one, and voting is a right in Georgia, obviously, and millions are exercising that right tonight. We caught up with several voters all across Metro Atlanta today who say it's important that their voices are heard. My kids were like, hey, do the absentee ballot or the early voting. I was like, I just like going up there, you know, in the fall and taking a vote. And I, I meet my neighbors out here, too. Easy breezy. It's always easy here. Everybody's pleasant and nice, and it's a very fast process. Get out and vote. This is your opportunity to, to say yeah, what's important voice. to you yeah. and, and where you want the country to go. And this is your opportunity to, to do that. And a lot of people are doing just that. Let's check in now with Latasha Gibbons. She's live at CT Martin, a voting location there in southwest Atlanta. So, Latasha, Fulton County hasn't faced many problems today, right? That's right, Ron, just a few minor hiccups, most of which were quickly corrected. But the main thing I saw throughout the county was people showing up at the wrong polling location. In some cases, people moved and never found out their new precinct. Other cases, people were redistricted without knowing it. But here's what voters had to say about their overall experience today. It was wonderful. I, I just try to vote for the right candidate. And it was a great experience. In and out. It was smooth sailing for most voters at the CT Martin Auditorium in Southwest Atlanta. The experience was good. Um, it was great, and honestly, because of the world that we're in right now, we need great leaders. But there was an issue earlier in the day at the Chattahoochee Hills precinct. Fulton County elections officials confirm about 20 voters came to cast their ballots, but were told they were assigned to Cobb County. The voters were not turned away. Um, they were offered provisional ballots. We are still investigating that matter to see if it's an issue with the poll pad equipment, but it's under investigation. But there is a paper backup list that the poll manager is able to use and is use utilizing at that site. We also learned a mother and son were removed as poll workers in Johns Creek after another worker alerted officials to something the mother posted online. They forwarded it to us. We sent that information to the Secretary of State's office to ask if this should be under investigation for concern. Um, they also they looked at the social media posts and said they agree with the with the concern and it's our decision to remove. They didn't give further details, but said that investigation is ongoing. As for the voters we talked to today, they tell us women's rights, Medicaid, Medicare, education and safety were among the top issues drawing them to the polls today. If you don't cash a vote, you don't be need to say nothing because this is our opportunity to express how we feel and what we believe in. My main reason for voting is because now that I'm a parent, there are a lot of issues amongst the kids that need to be resolved, like other things like um, food costs, gas. And Fulton County elections officials are holding another press briefing tonight at 7. We'll bring you that live on our sister station on the WATL. Live in Fulton County, I'm Latasha Givens, 11 Alive News.